In this video, I'm going to demonstrate some of the features of the screenshot capture thumbnail panel. Uh, this panel over here on the left, which shows previously captured images, is actually a full explorer window, which means you can right click on any image and bring up the normal context menu for files. You can drag files out of the window into an explorer window or drag files into it to work on them. There's the file I just dragged in and copied. Screenshot Capture also has a number of uh, menu uh, functions to help you work with large numbers of files here. You can configure a set of uh, move to folders so that you can easily select several folders and then move them to a specific directory of your choice. It will also um, automatically file images according to their date. So a frequent operation is to capture lots of Im images with a project and then you want to save them for later but want to get them out of your way. So you would use one of these functions. You can also, of course, um, resize the thumbnail panel if you want to work with images, if you want to see previous images more clearly, or in fact disable the thumbnail panel completely if you don't want to be bothered by it. You can also sort by date or name. You can, um, in addition, if the if you need to work with previous images, but the act, but you image files, but you don't actually need to see the images, but you want to see the details, you can actually switch to this. Uh, details mode where you can now select and move among images without actually having to see the previews in the thumbnail panel. And there you have it.